Well, really, we're, we're trying to investigate and understand the nature of governance and policy processes around climate change adaptation. Um, and we're doing this because there's been enough research and enough um, anecdotal experience from, from scientists engaged with policymakers to, to know that we in the, in the science world are often not doing the best that we can in terms of bringing science to policymakers. Um, and and having, having policy around climate change that is informed by the best science. Well, um, we think there's, there's two main areas maybe that, that need improvement. One is that uh, policies are often developed in, in isolation from each other and from, from some of the most important knowledge from different, from different realms, from different fields of science, and, but also from the grassroots that could help inform that policy and make it better. And so that's the first component of our project is trying to understand what we're calling the, the policy environment, meaning the various policies that are there, ways that they interact and affect adaptation choices of farmers and pastoralists. It's the policy uh, science and practice nexus is where, where and how science and policy come together. Senegal has a, uh, say a facilitated platform, which is a, sort of a CCAF's site of intervention and interaction, and in Ethiopia it's, uh, it's a more kind of emergent set of interactions where science and policy are, are overlapping and working together in, in interesting ways. I think one of, one of the really interesting bits in this project, and perhaps one of the really challenging ones as well, is trying to take a cross-scalar approach where it's the, the interactions of uh, you know, international policy and international initiatives and how those interact with national policy development and initiatives as well as the implementation of those. And the impl implementation of national policies takes them into the realm of practice of you know, agrarian communities. Uh, so how do they, how do those in turn affect the way farmers and herders manage their livelihoods? So trying to make the links between those three different locations is uh, challenging, but I think it's going to be important in, in terms of really getting a coherent picture of, of, of what goes on because usually or oftentimes research focuses on national policy or it focuses on local livelihoods or it focuses on international discourses and we're trying to uh, touch on all of those and connect the dots. Well our, our plans are for three years um, and really what we want to do is is to develop insights that that help uh, donor agencies, NGOs, uh, like international NGOs that are engaged with government on policy issues, um, and the science community to better understand how these processes of policy development around climate change work and can work, um, ultimately for, for better engagement and better policy. Um, our, our approach to doing this, though, is, is going to be quite interactive, as, as Todd mentioned, we're working at these different levels and engaging with stakeholders at these different levels. So we think just the, the process of engaging with them in a discursive, collaborative way is also going to open up doors of participation and make connections among people who perhaps weren't very well connected before in the development of policy. And also provide, because these are both really interesting and unique cases of uh, science policy interaction, provide some evidence about how, why and where co-production, uh, different co-production methodologies between science and policy work. So creating a foundation of evidence upon which to uh, inform